Hi there and welcome back to my channel. I threw out a question on Instagram wondering if you guys wanted to see a house tour before I have to sort of take everything away so that we can get our house ready for the market. And it was an overwhelming yes, we want to see a house tour. So I thought I would share a quick house tour with you guys. Might not be so quick because I'm going to literally go through the whole house. Uh, but you guys have been asking for a while and I sort of put it off not really knowing what the best way to do it was. But what I think I'm gonna do is just walk you guys through the whole house and you guys can just see where I live and uh, how things look. So let's just jump right in. Okay, we're starting at the front door. I'll just take you into the master bedroom first. So we're walking around like this and this is our master bedroom. So it's nothing too fancy, but it's very comfortable for us. It's a great big size. And so this is it. The bed is on the floor. We've had children in this bed and uh, it just works for us to have a floor bed although we are looking to sort of upgrade to an actual bed uh, once we move into our new house so this is the artwork that we put over the bed that is sadly going to be leaving but a whole bunch of just different sayings there over here is an art piece of art by my cousin and then down here is my side table it's just an ikea rass table that i've stained a darker color just to match the table over here that uh, is Dave's bedside table. So this artwork on the wall here is his high school graduation project. And uh, you will you may or may not see these little sticky notes all over the house because our home stager has already been through. And basically she wants us to edit out about 70% of what is in here. <laughs> so that is what we're gonna do. In here is our closet. It's kind of big, the biggest closet I've ever had and uh, our clothes are just hanging there. It's kind of a mess right now. So she wants us to edit out a whole bunch of things. There's just some sort of hidden Christmas gifts up there and various things. So this side is mine and this side is Dave's. So that is that. Over here is a big long mirror. This mirror is from Ikea and we've always just had it sort of leaning up against the wall here. And uh, actually the home stager want us, wants us to get rid of it. So that's going. <laughs> And then over here is just a cozy corner with my butterfly chair. Nice big window there, lets in lots of light. Over here from this corner is a little gallery wall there with our TV and then this is the dresser. I actually thrifted this dresser a long, long time ago when I was in uh, college and uh, it was one of my first thrifted pieces actually. So that's that. This is my piece that I actually painted and did a video on that with some chalk paint. This piece came, comes from Dave's grandpa, so we really love that. Here's a closer look at the gallery wall. And then here is just a piece of furniture where we store odds and ends and my jewelry. So this is the master bedroom. And coming down the hall out of the master bedroom, we have this artwork here on the wall, which is a thrifted find. And then this is our sort of family gather gallery wall with just different pictures here. This one was painted for us for our wedding by a friend of ours. Here's just all really old pictures of Dave and I and family. This is me and my siblings in 1986. <laughs> so that's me right there. My sister, my brother, and my other little brother. This is me with all crazy teeth. <laughs> so anyhow. This is me on my first birthday. Anyway, that all this stuff has to come down. Coming down the hall, this room here is Miriam's room. I've done a uh, room tour of that, so it's kind of a mess right now, but she's been playing in there. Coming down here is a pantry, and then this is our bathroom. This is just a uh, bookcase with some storage on it. Dave's artwork all over the walls, over there. Oh, seems Miriam was giving her dollies a bath, so that's in the, that's in the bathroom sink. And then uh, over here is just the tub. Nothing too fancy in here. And then coming out of the bathroom, you'll see this is where our kitchen is. So Dave works over here. This is his office. It's really just supposed to be an eat-in kitchen, but that's his office there. And then back over here, is my wall of stuff that I love. My black and white mug collection is up there 
and uh, just other mugs and stuff that I really love that I've thrifted over the years. Over here is a window that I do love. It's a stained glass window that I'll be sad to leave, but that's that. And then this is our kitchen. I didn't clean up before uh, filming this, so it's kind of a little bit messy. So anyhow, I love that we have all these windows in the kitchen. They really bring a lot of light into here. This is the other side of the kitchen. Please ignore leftover Domino's pizza and my ginger ale. I had that for lunch. <laughs> So anyway, that's that. Coming through the kitchen here is the dining room. And um, yeah, we, we I love this space. This light fixture here is something that I put up right when we moved in. And it was my first sort of adult purchase. Um, when we lived in our apartment, it was very student-esque. And so this I really loved because I thought it was very adult-like. So <laughs> that's that. Over here is the infamous Arnold picture. It was actually started as a Christmas gift, like gag gift, but uh, Dave put it up on the wall about, I don't know, probably three or four or five years ago, and it hasn't moved since, so that's that. Over here is my gallery wall of plates that also has to sadly come down. And then this is the view from the living room. I've got this buffet, actually, and this table came free because it was in my parents' house when they bought their house. And so, um, yeah, this is this wall over here, big tall bookcase, and um, my little shelf here that I just thrifted. This chair here is kind of meaningful because it used to be in my dad's office a long time ago, and then he gave it to me, and it was the first ever piece of furniture that I recovered myself. So I recovered it in this sort of damask print that I realize is now probably dated but I just like to keep it like that because it uh, is meaningful because I did it myself. <laughs> Come around this way here is my big front window that I absolutely love. It's a nice bay window where you can sit. People often sit there during parties and then over here is the piano. So I've just got all my little things above the piano there. This is all gonna have to go sadly. Here's the sofa over here. Disregard all the stuff on the table. <laughs> we live here, so that's there. And then this is looking from the window into the living room. We've got these two pieces of artwork that we got for free from the MoMA Gallery in New York City. They were giving away those for free. I just put them in IKEA frames, so that's that. This is the TV stand that we got uh, when we were first married. And uh, this locker is from Ikea. It holds all our um, supplies for uh, arts and crafts and stuff. And so that's there. This globe is actually a family piece. This globe I really love because it's got some history. This is. This came from Dave's dad, and he received this globe as a bar mitzvah gift. So I just really like displaying this here, and the kids like to sort of see where, see where we live and, um, you know, look at it. So I like that. It is pretty old, though, because it does still say um, USSR on the uh, globe here. So it's pretty old school. Over here is my desk. <laughs> this piece was actually going to the garbage. It was from my good friend's basement when she moved into a house that she moved into and they were getting rid of it and so I said no I'll take it I love it so that is that and then above my desk you've probably seen it a number of times before but this is my little gallery wall that I love and uh, yeah so that's that and over here some people have asked me about this shelf this shelf was actually made by Dave so the piece of wood came from my in-laws basement it had been sitting around forever and uh, it's a pretty old piece of wood, so we took that and then we just went to the uh, hardware store and got some plumbing uh, fixtures and stuff and put them all together and made it like a little shelf. So uh, Dave put that together and I absolutely love it. I love decorating it for all the different seasons. Right now it's decorated for fall. Underneath is just this chair that I love that I got as a birthday gift. I don't know, probably five years ago or maybe seven years ago or something. Anyway, uh, Dave bought that for me from a old uh, vintage store downtown. This is a special little piece here. We used to have a Whippet named Morty and so we just got this 
uh, sort of in memory of him. So that is that. Then at the front door here, we've got um, just this little side table here that I got for free from an aunt. And this little lamp here on there is thrifted. This mirror here I absolutely love. It is from my aunt and I just painted it black and I love, love, love all of it. And then we're back to the front of the house. So that is the whole upstairs. I'll quickly take you guys downstairs. So if you go back through the house into the kitchen, this is the playroom. So I don't think you've probably ever seen down here. So I will take you down and show you the playroom. So this is the playroom. It's never really that tidy. It's just got a lot of stuff down here. And, but the kids like to play down here. So this is that room. I'm just gonna mention this piece here because it is also quite a memorable piece. This was in my grandma's apartment and I always loved it growing up. It says nobody's perfect and the little guy on the end here is hanging upside down. And uh, I got that from her apartment when she passed away. So I really love that. Back behind there is sort of unfinished basement and the laundry room, which you guys may or may not have seen, but it I did do a tour of the laundry room, so I'll link that in the description box below. Coming through here is Jude's room, so it's not the best lighting in here, but this is, it's looking very yellow right now, but this is Jude's room, and uh, he's comfy down here. He's got all his little dinosaurs on the wall, and his little piece of artwork that I probably showed you Miriam's in her room tour, but this is Jude's, Jude Anchors Away, born in 2012. So Dave made this piece of art. He's a graphic designer, so he made that. His dresser is just an Ikea dresser here. And uh, yeah, he loves this room. Although this is kind of funny. I had put this up in his room, but the other day, Dave, we always sit here while we're waiting for him to fall asleep. And Dave was sitting there and Jude asked, Dave saying, did mommy give me this piece of art for my birthday? And Dave's like, oh, I don't know. He says, oh, because it's really boring. I don't really like it. So <laughs> he doesn't really like this piece. I thought he would because it's all different birds of uh, Eastern Canada. But anyway, I guess I'm the only one who can appreciate the um, vintageness of it. So anyhow, that's that. But anyhow, this is Jude's room. It's kind of cluttery, but he likes it and uh, he's comfy down here so coming through here is actually not what it normally looks like because we are getting rid of a lot of stuff this is a cold storage room back there so we're just taking everything out to get rid of but anyhow this is generally where the kids will watch movies and stuff like that so there's like a little tv down here and this is all stuff that's going so disregard that but anyway this is downstairs and then there is one more room down here, and it is sort of the guest room, but it doesn't look too great right now. So my niece usually sleeps here when she comes over, but anyhow, that is that. My sewing table is over here, and so that gets used. Not quite as often as I would hope, but anyway. And then Dave's the drummer, and uh, sadly his drums are all tucked away because we don't really have space for them. So. Anyhow, this is the last room, but we do have one more bathroom, and it is down here. And uh, it's just really plain, but it does have a shower. I had wanted to sort of redo this bathroom and make it sort of look like an apothecary, but uh, just because this window I thought really nice with like plants and stuff, but anyway, that's that. It never happened, and we are moving, so that is that. So anyway, there you have it. I hope that you enjoyed this sort of quick run through of my whole house. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you aren't subscribed to my channel and want to see more videos from me, you might as well subscribe. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.